this man insists till now to be the secret son of King Charles and Queen Camilla? Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Get ready as we bring you an enthralling royal tale. The intriguing story of Simon Charles Durante Day. The man who believes he might be the unknown child of none other than King Charles III and Queen Camilla. Join us on this journey as we look into the reasons why he holds on to this extraordinary claim. We'll talk about the challenges he has faced and the emotional impact of his quest. You would not want to miss the details, like his insistence on a DNA test to reveal his royal heritage. So get ready for some mind-blowing revelations. With that said, let's get started. Number 1. The Timing Simon Durant today is an Australian man who gained attention by presenting a controversial belief that there was a prior connection between King Charles and Camilla Parker. According to Simon, their association didn't start later in life as commonly believed. He insists that they go way back to their teenage years. This claim challenges the officially documented narrative of Charles and Camilla's story, adding a whole new layer of mystery to their relationship. But wait, his claim doesn't stop there. Simon boldly insists that he is the result of their early age romance. He further alleges that the relationship between them became more intense than publicly acknowledged and that this secrecy has influenced the course of their lives and even the royal family's history. Now, this is where things get controversial. Simon's most startling allegations is that he is the biological son of King Charles and Queen Camilla, born when they were 17 or 18. You can imagine the debates and controversies this stirred up about the royal family's past and their relationships with each other. If these claims turn out to be true, it could change how we see the royals and their personal lives. And it leaves us wondering why there was the secrecy surrounding their early relationship if there was any at all. Number 2. Adoption it all started with Simon's adoption. At a very young age, when he was only 18 months old, Simon was embraced into the loving arms of a British couple, Karen and David Day. This signaled a potential and fascinating link to the royal family. From an early stage in his life, Simon Durante Day knew his parents had a link to the British royal family. His parents reportedly had significant ties to Queen Elizabeth II and other known members of the royal family. This intriguing aspect of his adoption has sparked curiosity and speculation among those interested in the royal family. While the specifics of their relationship with the queen remain folded in mystery, the mere notion of such connections has created various theories about the potential motives. Some believe that this adoption into a family with royal connections could have been a way to keep him close to the monarchy while protecting the secrets surrounding his alleged parentage. Others, however, don't believe this. They point out that, without solid evidence, it is challenging to draw any definitive conclusions about the true nature of his adoption and its connection to the royal family. While it's really interesting to think about the possibility of being connected to the monarchy, we should remember that these claims are just guesses until we have real evidence to support them. Number 3. Physical Appearance Durante Day firmly believes that he shares striking physical similarities with both King Charles and Queen Camilla, particularly in the aspects of their teeth and eyes. Simon Durante Day's conviction about his resemblance to King Charles and Queen Camilla has become a central aspect of his mind-blowing narrative. According to him, he has noticed notable similarities in specific facial features, especially his facial features. Simon points out his dental traits as one of the strong pieces of evidence, asserting that the alignment, shape, and even the gaps in his teeth are just like King Charles. And when it comes to his eye, he claims his eye color and certain characteristics are a mirror image of Queen Camilla's. These uncanny resemblances have fueled his belief that he is their biological son. Genetics may cause shocking parallels between people who are not related to each other, and determining true paternity takes careful investigation by scientists. Despite the lack of evidence to support his claims, Simon Durant today remains determined in his stance that he feels a deep connection with King Charles and Queen Camilla. He believes the connection is on a great level, which is beyond physical appearance. His unshakable belief in his royal resemblance has kicked his determination into overdrive. He is trying to establish his alleged ties to the royal family. Number 4. Family Resemblance in addition to his belief in his physical resemblance to Prince Charles and Camilla, Simon Durante Day claims that his offspring displays remarkable similarities to members of the British royal family, most notably Queen Elizabeth II. 
Simon points to specific facial features such as bone structure, eye shape, and even certain mannerisms, which he claims can be traced back to the queen and other royal relatives. These powerful resemblances have added to the ongoing claims to establish a connection to the royal lineage. Simon's idea that his kids might be rocking some royal genes has captured the public's imagination. It has sparked lively debates and discussions about the possible implications of such familial ties. Some think it's just a curious coincidence, while others see it as potential evidence supporting his claims of a hidden ancestral link. But here's the thing, determining genuine biological relationships based solely on physical resemblance is complex. Simon Durant today is convinced about his family's resemblance to the royal family, and that's got him all pumped up to uncover the truth. However, when it comes to stuff this big, one should rely on real deal evidence, like a DNA test. Number 5. His Adopted Grandmother's Statement Simon Durant today claims that his adoptive grandmother, who supposedly had a professional association with the queen, spilled some royalty directly to him. She was the one who made a direct and explicit statement to him. During a conversation on her deathbed, Simon says his adoptive grandmother revealed to him that he was the biological son of none other than King Charles and Queen Camilla. For Simon, this revelation was a life changer. He professes that she shared the revelation candidly, leaving him with no doubt about his supposed royal parentage. His adoptive grandparents, Winfred and Ernest, were employed at the royal household, serving Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip. His grandfather worked as a gardener, while his grandmother worked as a cook. Throughout his childhood, Durant Day recalls subtle hints from his grandparents about this connection. The statement from his adoptive grandmother has been a pivotal factor in sparking Simon's belief in his royal lineage. He considers her disclosure as a deeply personal and significant affirmation of the family secret he has been trying to uncover all his life. It's like a puzzle falling into place. The claim of such a direct and personal acknowledgement from someone with connections to the royal family has captured public attention, raising questions about the accuracy and implications of this alleged revelation. Critics raise an important point. Without concrete evidence to back this up, it's all speculative. They highlight the importance of factual verification when dealing with matters of significance and historical importance. Still, supporters of Simon see his adoptive grandmother's alleged statement as a crucial piece of the puzzle, adding weight to his belief in his royal contention. Now, this opens up a world of questions, as King Charles is the current ruling monarch and his having another child could change up the line of succession. That's why further investigation into his biological connection to King Charles and Queen Camilla is important. Number 6. Mysterious Childhood Now let's dive into the mysterious childhood of Simon Durant today, a childhood filled with guarded trips to Buckingham Palace. His accounts of this privileged upbringing have sparked debates about the authenticity and implications of his claims. Some say without powerful evidence, it's hard to verify such extraordinary experiences. It adds so much intrigue to his quest to uncover his alleged royal identity. His stories and statement about trips to Buckingham Palace seem shady as there is no pictures or proof of this. But let's stay fair and open-minded as we navigate through his journey. It is not easy to reveal personal history and family secrets to confirm proof. Number 7. Medical Records Simon Durand Day claims that discrepancies and secrecy in his medical records suggest a royal connection. He claims that these irregularities may be an indication of efforts to protect sensitive information related to his royal lineage. The presence of edited or missing details raises questions about the true identity of his biological parents. However, interpreting medical records and their confidentiality is no walk in the park. It can be complex. Some skeptics argue that attributing these discrepancies solely to a potential royal connection might be a bit of a leap without solid evidence. They stress the importance of thoroughly investigating all possibilities and relying on verified facts to conclude. Yet, Simon's unwavering belief in a royal connection drives him to continue his quest for the truth. And let's be real, uncovering one's parentage and heritage can be an emotionally charged and challenging journey, and Simon's case is no exception. The truth can be revealed through investigation and transparent examination. It's a journey filled with intrigue and mystery, but only by carefully examining the evidence can genuine connections to the British royal family be confirmed or refuted, bringing closure and clarity to this captivating story. Number 8. Birth Certificate Issues Simon Durante Day claims his birth certificate contains deviation that suggests a potential cover-up regarding his true parentage. 
The certificate has raised eyebrows with missing or altered details that hint at deliberate efforts to obscure his identity and connections to the British royal family. The absence of comprehensive information about his biological parents has sparked suspicions about the motives behind these discrepancies. It's like something straight out of a detective movie. Simon also believes that the dates and locations associated with his birth may not align with his true timeline and circumstances. It's got him convinced that there's a false narrative at play. Despite all the uncertainties, Simon's conviction that there is a cover-up has been his driving force. The journey to uncover one's true parentage can be emotionally charged and burdened with obstacles, and Simon's case vividly shows the complexities of exploring hidden familial connections. Establishing the authenticity of these claims demands research and adherence to legal processes. We believe only by carefully examining all available evidence, the truth behind the birth certificate can be unveiled. Number 9. Prince William's Appearance Simon Durand Day has found a fascinating similarity between his and Prince William's eye condition. It got people wondering if there is a potential genetic link to the British royal family. The eye-related issue has generated interest that this shared condition might be more than just a coincidence. It's like a crucial clue supporting Simon's belief that could be the biological son of King Charles and Camilla. Some supporters argue that shared medical conditions within families can point to genetic inheritance, but we should be cautious before solely attributing this shared trait to a royal connection. The truth behind the significance of the eye condition could hold potential insights into Simon's search for his identity and familial ties. Number 10. Recognition from Royals Simon Durand today claims to have had a memorable encounter with his alleged biological mother, Queen Camilla, during a public outing. Simon thinks that he received a subtle sign from her. He interpreted the gesture as confirmation of their alleged relationship. This encounter has stirred up a storm of attention and speculation. Supporters think it could be a ciphered sign of a familial link to the British royal family. Emotions can play an important role in how we perceive events, especially when we desire acknowledgement and recognition. Simon's belief in this encounter has fueled his longing to seek validation of his claims of a royal connection. While Simon Durand today believes Camilla's nod was a confirmation of their alleged relationship, it's important to consider it may have been a courteous gesture towards a fan. Until other evidence emerges to support or refute his narrative, his account of the nod remains an emotional aspect of his journey. Number 11. Premonitions Simon Durand today claims to have experienced dreams and premonitions that hint at his potential royal heritage. He thinks these dreams and premonitions provide cryptic clues or subtle indications of a hidden connection to the British royal family. It's like something too good to be true, but it is fueling his faith that his identity and parentage might be more extraordinary than he initially realized. Simon's descriptions of these experiences are fascinating. Some are vivid, recounting specific encounters or events involving royal figures. Others are more abstract and open to interpretation. He believes that they are prophetic messages from his subconscious, guiding him toward unveiling his true heritage. But let's remember that dreams and premonitions are very subjective and influenced by personal beliefs and emotions. So we must approach this aspect of Simon's story with a measured perspective. Number 12. Support from the public Simon Durand today has built an incredible global community. His claims have gained widespread support from people all around the world. His followers firmly believe in his story. They motivate him to get his rightful share of the royalty. This community has formed through social media and online forums. They offer him emotional support and words of kindness. This support has been a source of strength for him. Simon's story has sparked meaningful discussions about family histories, genealogy, and hidden connections to prominent figures. It's like a ripple effect, inspiring curiosity and fascination among the public. The quest for truth requires research, verified evidence, and a transparent examination of all available facts. His Facebook page serves as a great platform for him to share updates and interact with his supporters. While he has a great community backing him up, this does not always mean there's going to be unanimous public support for him. Number 13. Comparison with Royal Portraits Simon Durand today is obsessed with comparing his facial features with those of prominent members of the British royal family. He is seeking potential connections that could affirm his belief in a hidden ancestral link. Simon has compared portraits of these individuals and analyzed every detail. From facial structures to bone formations and distinctive characteristics, 
He's on the lookout for any resemblance that might point to a royal connection. Nose shape, chin curve, and eye tilt, he has examined it all. However, facial comparisons should be approached with caution, as portraits can be influenced by artistic styles and techniques. They are idealized representations of the subject. Shared physical traits can happen among unrelated individuals due to pure coincidences. Simon's determination to explore these facial similarities speaks to his deep desire to uncover the truth about his lineage. But let's be real, verified evidence is what is needed. Facial comparisons should complement a DNA analysis to establish genuine connections. Number 14. Pursuit of Truth Simon Durant today is driven by an unwavering sense of purpose. His search for truth has become the heart and soul of his life, with implications that reached far beyond himself. It's about his children and future generations too. He believes that heritage forms a crucial part of individual identity and shapes a person's sense of belonging. Imagine sharing your family history, lineage, and connections to historical figures such as the literal king and queen of a country. This is a possibility straight out of a fictional novel. Simon knows how significantly this can impact his children's sense of self and place in society. As a father, Simon feels an immense responsibility to provide his children with a comprehensive understanding of their family background. That includes any royal connections. He thinks it is his and his children's right to know about their family. And this knowledge is more than just personal validation. It's about contributing to a broader historical narrative, enriching the lives of future generations. Simon knows the importance of verified evidence and transparent examination. But it's a universal human desire to learn about its roots and origins. No matter where it leads, it's all about finding the truth and getting closure. Number 15. Persistent Belief Simon Durant today is one determined soul. He remains steadfast in his belief in his royal parentage, despite facing constant scrutiny. His journey is no walk in the park. It is emotionally charged and filled with complexities, reflecting the power of personal experience and identity. Simon seeks answers through legal channels, research, and public outreach. He is showing integrity and dedication to transparency, leaving no stone unturned in his hunt for answers. Simon's story reminds us of the charm of hidden connections to prominent figures. Who wouldn't want to discover a royal lineage? And it's not just Simon's journey. We all want to know where we come from and what shapes our identity. This brings us to the end of our video. Comment down below what you think about all these claims. What do you think might be driving Simon Durante Day's unwavering insistence on being the secret son of King Charles and Queen Camilla? Do you find any resemblance in Simon to King Charles and Camilla's actual son? Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.